Architecture is a company that's focused on building with hempcrete. So right now we're the first company in the United States that is exclusively looking at this material as a building product. Hey, I'm Preston, I'm with Cannabates. What we do is we help save people money on cannabis products. I'm here with Tommy from Hempitecture. What's up, Tommy? Can you tell us more about Hempitecture yourself? We have over three completed projects in the United States so far. Uh, one was the first panelized hempcrete construction project, and then one was the first retrofit. So these two projects are located in Idaho and Washington, and we actually build our third one on the East Coast this summer in Geneva, New York. You know, we see tons of uh, hempcrete hashtags on Instagram and on Facebook, lots of memes going on. So can you get to the facts of what hempcrete can do and what hempcrete can't do? Yeah, that's a great question. I think the first thing people think of when they hear hempcrete is, okay, we're going to have concrete, but with hemp. And they are not perfect substitutes. Concrete is a structural material that can carry the load of the building as well as provide the shear support. Uh, hempcrete is primarily an insulation and wall material. So you're gonna get thermal resistance from your hempcrete wall, which means it keeps you warm. You're gonna get moisture uh, moderation from your hempcrete wall, which means it keeps it at a um, climate that's not too damp, not too dry. And then you will get some racking strength on the structure. But you will need a wooden timber frame or some type of metal X braces or something inside of the hempcrete wall that's actually supporting the weight of the building. Online, we see our hempcrete's fire resistant, pest resistant. I'm sure everyone saw the videos of putting a blowtorch to hempcrete and mm -hmm. not catching on fire. So what is hempcrete and what can it do? So it absolutely is fire resistant. I believe the technical term is fire rating and that the length of time it takes before you're burning through to the other side. Okay. And hempcrete is well over an hour, which is usually the traditional time a responder could get there and mm -hmm. um, solve the fire. And there is testing, there is videos like you see a blowtorch going up to have created and you see a big black hole slowly, slowly get bigger, but nothing really penetrating the hempcrete wall. And we are actually in the middle of studies with Gonzaga University. And these are the first domestic hempcrete research studies in the United States. And we are testing that exact thing. Mm -hmm. So they've partnered with a lab at, um, at Boeing in Seattle to actually move hempcrete wall samples there and test them with the Boeing's fire resistance training. And then they'll also be testing thermal resistance and then moisture uh, transmission. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's so cool. This research will be really important because a lot of builders, um, they can see the material, they can read about it online. Maybe they can go to Europe or Australia and see information about how it performs, but those values and metrics are um, not in an um, imperial system, they're in a uh, metric system. So this will be the first domestic research. You can take it to your building inspector, say, hey, hempcrete performs at this thermal resistance level. It's got this fire rating. We're not using it for structure. We're just using it as an insulating wall material. Will you make those three houses and those three projects um, accessible so people can point to those as examples? Yeah, actually, so the, the first project that Hempitecture did is Idaho Base Camp. It's a public use space. It's the first public hempcrete building in the United States, too, actually. And it's a spot where young kids can go from inner cities and experience the outdoors. So they're stepping foot in rural Idaho, places they probably have never even thought about visiting. And they're interacting with the outdoors, um, they're making new friends, and they're using this amazing, amazing space that feels like just a grand yoga studio. And the hempcrete walls are a big part of the, you know, that warm, uh, cozy feeling of the building. 